in the hearts of Africa, nestled among the ever grazing savannas and dense forests, lay the vibrant village of Eziama. It was a place where tradition and wisdom were passed down through generations, where every smile told the story and every sunset promised a new dawn. This is the tale of Amara, a young woman whose journey would become a legend whispered under the moonlight skies of Eziama and beyond. Amara was born during the harvest season under a sky ablaze with stars. To the wailing sound that filled the earth, her parents, Nemeka and Nemeka, were renowned weavers whose fabrics told tales of the gods, nature, and the spirit that walked among them. From a young age, Amara showed a strange ability to understand the language of the earth, a gift that made her stand out among her peers. As she grew, so did her curiosity and her powers. Her hands moved like the wind and comes to light like a weave. So captivating that even the ancestors were said to listen in silence from the realms beyond. However, Amara's heart yearned for more than the life that lay before her. She dreamt of venturing beyond the Ziyama to uncover the mysteries held tight by the farthest stars and the deepest roots of the earth. The opportunity came when Eziama faced an uncertainty unlike any before. A great drought withered the land and a shadow fell over the village as crops fell and rivers ran dry. The elders spoke of an ancient relic, the hearts of the earth, capable of restoring balance. But it was hidden away in the depths of the Yoko forest a place so dangerous that none who entered had ever returned. Amara, with the courage of her ancestors, coursing through her veins, stepped forward to undertake this quest. Armed with her faith, a loom of her own making and the blessing of her people, she ventured into Oku Forest guided by the whispers of the wind and the songs of the spirit. Her journey was filled with challenges that tested her strength. She encountered creatures of myth and legend from the shape-shifting Ekwensu who tried to lead her astray with illusions of fear and doubt to the gentle among spirits of the forest that offered her guidance and protection. One night, under a canopy of stars, Amara faced her greatest trial. The guardian of the heart of the earth, a great beast known as Ududo, challenged her right to claim the relic. It was not through forces that Amara sought to win, but through understanding and compassion. She passionately narrates the story of Eziama's plight, of her people's suffering, and of her own journey, filled with hope and the desire to heal not just her village, but the land itself. Ududo, moved by her story, saw in Amara the heart of a true guardian. The beast granted her the heart of the earth, but with a warning. The balance of nature is a delicate weave, one that requires constant care and respect. Amara returned to Eziama as the first sun rose the following day, bringing with her the promise of renewal, the real, the heart of the earth, placed at the village center, blossomed with a light that spread across the land, reviving the rivers, the crops, and the spirit of all who lived there. The village rejoiced, and Amara was celebrated 
not just as a hero, but as a beacon of hope, a reminder of strength that lies in compassion, understanding, and the unbreakable bound between humanity and the earth. Years passed, and Amara still became a legend, a story greatly of Eziama, passed down through generations. It was a tale of courage, of the journey into the unknown, and of the power of stories to heal, to unite, and to bring forth the dawn after the darkest night. Amara's story teaches us that within each of us lies the potential to make a difference, to face the shadows with light, and to weave our own tales of hope and renewal. It reminds us that the earth speaks to those who listen, that courage is found in the most unexpected places, and that, in the end, it is our stories that will light the way for generations to come. In the tapestry of life, each thread is vital, each color vibrant, and every pattern a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity. Like Amara, we are all weavers of our destiny, guardians of the earth, and keepers of the tale that will inspire the world and you. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in our next story. Bye.